Here we have the outside of the Benamar Medio 282. As we move along, we will come first to the mains hookup point just here. Just remember that when removing the hookup lead, just push down on this blue lever here. We then have fresh water into the van at this point. Push in, twist, pop the hose pipe in to then fill. To drain down your fresh water tank for winterization, and if you do not want to travel with too much water on board, we need to go directly underneath the van. So if we now look underneath, you will see this green cap here. Just unscrew and it will then drop all of the water out of the tank. Next we have the location of the cassette toilet. To remove the cassette, just lift up on the blue lever just here and pull towards you. Before use, unscrew this cap and then add your toilet chemical. It also empties from this place as well. Just remember that when you are pouring it away, hold this button in here because it will release the vacuum inside. If I now slide this part back here, it is also a very good idea to keep the seal well lubricated. These are all now on wheels with extendable handles. Make sure that it is fully engaged when putting back in. Next we have the grey water drain. So it's labelled up with this little sticker here. You'll see the lever just here. It is just literally pull like so and then the water will drop from the centre of the waste tank. Next we have the flue for the Truma boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular flues, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. And then we have the gas locker just here. There is plenty of room in here for two bottles. You will see the regulator just sits up here and then the hose comes off the regulator and then screws into the propane bottle just here bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure that the bottle is off for travel. As we then move around to the rear of the motorhome, we have the jack and wheel brace kit just here and the location of the spare wheel. Also in here we have the two ladders for the drop down beds, thermal silver screens for the outside of the van, the corner steady winding handle. The corner steadies are located on either side at this point here. Just pop the corner steady winding handle on this nut here and then we can drop the legs for extra stability if wanted. Also in here we have the winding handle for the Fiamma rollout canopy. And then we have two warning triangles and also in here you will find main supply and 12 volt. Next we have the vents for the fridge freezer. This is a fully winterized van so it does come with winter covers. The winter covers only need to be on in extremely cold climate. To put these on we need to undo the black clips just here, remove the fridge vent itself, take the winter cover and then pop it in like so and then pop the vent back on and then lock it back into place and exactly the same for the top one. Do make sure that these are not on for summer months or otherwise the fridge will overheat. Next we have the external barbecue and shower point. 
if we are going to use the external shower make sure that there's fresh water in the system and the water pump is turned on then pop this into here and it will then lock into place and then as long as as I said the water pump is on it will then go under pressure like so to remove just push on the collar push it towards and it will pop back out again for the barbecue point it is just remove the dust cover and very similar to the water it is just pop this up into here it will lock into place and then allow you to turn the gas on and same again to release it just push on the collar push it up and it will then remove we then have diesel fill just here cap unlocks on the ignition key